Hey, Fred Minnick here, and I'm on a mission to tell the world about what the best bourbon is under 40 bucks. Let me tell you about what I've been doing. Uh, the past couple of years, I have been uh, ha having a lot of fun, like going into stores and doing like these blind tastings or these tastings of finding like the best bourbon under 40. Uh, I've given commentary on on various lists uh, that are published out there. And I've certainly done my lists as well of like, what is the best here? What's the best there? Well, uh, instead of just me doing it, what I've done is I put it out to you all a couple different times to tell me what are the specs that you would like to see in an everyday bourbon. What are the price points? And while the, in the in the community there was certainly some going back and forth, uh, there was some debating, but we ended up on what the best everyday bourbon is is forty dollars or right around forty dollars. And then uh, there was some debate about what what is uh, available, what is everyday. So it had to basically be like in at least twenty six states. And so what I did, my team and I put together a list. We we use Total Wine uh, as as a way to um, to look through. And so like SRPs may be different. Other retailers may have different prices. But on Total Wine, these brands were uh, 40 or under. There are a couple brands in there that were like 42 bucks. I was just like, you know what? Uh, we'll let it pass. It'll kind of be like the, the barrel proof law. If it's like a couple points over or whatever, it's like, eh, it's okay. So we're doing that here as well. So if it was 45, too much. Um, but uh, but 42, you know, that was enough of a grace period for us or a grace, a grace amount for us. So what I'm asking you to do in the com on the pinned comment and in the description, you will find a link to a survey I am asking for your vote. I am asking for you to vote on what you think is uh, the best bourbon and what for for forty bucks. And you you can click up to twenty five, and then if you see something that's not in there, please please feel free uh, to add it. Just remember, it has to be forty dollars or thereabouts or under. Uh, and it has to be in the majority of the U.S. states. Apologies to my international friends, um, but, you know, I basically do this based on the United States availability. International availability, whew, I don't know if I can tackle that one just yet. So let's take a look at what, what is up for vote. We've got more than 50 that are in here, and I'll tell you about the process uh, of how I will determine uh, who's number one here in a second. But you got Jack Daniels. Yellowstone, Wild Turkey 101 is, you know, is seems to be a, a crowd favorite whenever I bring this comment up. Uh, Elijah Craig Small Batch, Evan Williams Bottle and Bond, Evan Williams uh, Black Label. There was also uh, an Evan Williams 1783, but believe it or not, that is not in as many states as the other products. Uh, Buffalo Trace 90 Proof and Eagle Rare and Weller Special Reserve. Now, what is fascinating about this is that I don't necessarily consider those everyday bourbons. But I put a poll out on Twitter about well, Weller in particular, and more than 60% of the vote said that was an everyday bourbon, meaning people find it available, they can get it, uh, and they drink it every day. By the way, Buffalo Trace is one of those, brand, one of those uh, distilleries. People either hate them or love them. Uh, Knob Creek, Woodford Reserve, Makers 46, High West American Prairie Bourbon Whiskey. Now, this is a blend of straights. I indeed allowed blend of straights to be in here. I also allowed barrel finishes. Essentially, anything that's on the on the bourbon in the bourbon aisle at Total Wine is is what I would allow in. Now, I am hypercritical of separating those in like an actual uh, bourbon tasting competition. But when it comes to this, when you're looking at like the everyday consumer just walking into a store. Um, I'm, I'm viewing this as like, what are they looking for? What do they understand as bourbon? And so these are these are going to be considered in there. There's not a lot of blended straights in here, but there's enough. Uh, 1792, Jefferson's, Cooper's Craft, Barrel Reserve. A lot of people saying don't miss on that one. Uh, Jim, Weem, Jim, Jim, Weem, Jim Beam White Label, 
my first illegal consumption of bourbon, 21 years old, Delta Chi Fraternity House, swigging that Jim Beam white label down. Uh, Jim Beam Black Label, Jim Beam Devil's Cut, Jim Beam Double Oak, Jim Beam Single Barrel, Old Crow, Old Granddad 86 Proof, Old Granddad Bonded, Wild Turkey Long Branch, Russell's Reserve 10-Year. I think that one's going to definitely make that uh, top tier level. Maker's Mark Cash Drink, Evan Williams Single Barrel, Cooper's Craft Bourbon Whiskey. This one's at 82.2 proof. Uh, previous one was 100 proof. Four Roses Bourbon, 80 proof. Four Roses Small Batch, 90 proof. Johnny Drum Private Stock. Now, this is a Willet product. Uh, a lot of Willet products uh, do have national distribution. Uh, Michter's Small Batch. That's one of those that was just a hair over um, $40, but we decided to let them in anyway. Old Forester 86 proof, Old Forester 100 proof, Woodenville straight bourbon, 90 proof Washington bourbon. Uh, that one's at $39.99. Now, Woodenville was a cusper in terms of how many states it was in. Um, when I would query people uh, like uh, Chattanooga, 14 states, New Riff, uh, New Riff was only in like 16 states and climbing. Same with Wilderness Trail, not the kind of national distribution uh, that I'm that I'm looking for to be on this list. Uh, Woodenville's right on there at 25. So uh, I decided to let them in. Uh, if you have a brand that you think is 25, 26, I'll, I will valid ver verify that, fact check it. But uh, you know, uh, Maker's Mark 90 proof Redemption Straight Bourbon Whiskey, uh, 88 proof uh, Early Times Bottled and Bond Rebel. Uh, Kentucky, so Rebel, uh, formerly Rebel Yell, Old Tub Bottled and Bond, uh, Bird Dog, 90 Proof, David Nicholson, 1843, Old Granddad, 114, that's another fan favorite, Ezra Brooks, 99 Proof, Bowman's Small Batch Bourbon, uh, that one is Virginia, George Dickel, 8 Year, uh, Redwood Empire Pipe Dream, another one of those blends of straights I was telling you about. Hirsch Horizon Bourbon, Smooth Ambler Old Scout, Angel's Envy. There's a uh, there's a port finish there that I was telling you that would be in the in the tasting or in the in the lineup for you to vote on. Bullet Ten Year Bourbon. That one, I was kind of stunned that that was um, only forty bucks. I thought that was more. Rowan's Creek. I think that's a sleeper. Hundred. Point one proof. Stillhouse Black Bourbon. Now, this is something I would never in a million years review, buy, recommend, or anything. But because it's in that, it's in that uh, it meets the qualifications. Stillhouse, uh, which is in like a tin can, uh, makes the list. Another one that makes the list that surprised me was Wyoming Whiskey Bourbon. That's another one of those that's a cusper. Uh, it's uh, around, it's $42, uh, $41.99 if you want to be exact. Uh, Pure Kentucky XO, Kentucky Vintage, David Nicholson, Big House Straight Bourbon, and Bradshaw Bourbon. Bradshaw is another one of those cuspers. So go and vote and tell me uh, what, you know, what I'll do is I'm compiling all these. Uh, I will reveal the, the results uh, and, and specifically the top 25. Uh, much like I did for my top 100, I am taking that top 25 and uh, ranking them out. And then I will taste the ones that are in the top 10 uh, to declare the best everyday bourbon for my palate under uh, $40. So there's a chance there's going to be something that makes that, you know, that top 10 that I don't drink, that I don't necessarily like. Um, I mean, it'd be crazy if Stillhouse made it, but... You know, that's kind of what I'm getting at is like I wanted this process to not be to not necessarily be about my palate, but to be about like consumer facing opinions. And I'd love to find out what you think is the best everyday bourbon at forty dollars. And the majority of the people, again, voted for that forty dollar price point in the YouTube membership. Also, that seems to be a pretty, pretty standard uh, price jump when you get to that $50 mark. You know, when I am going shopping and I'm like, you know, uh, I want to get an everyday bourbon. You know, my mind um, shifts very differently when it's like uh, Old Forester 1920. Now that I think about it, 
which li- that was a that was my best everyday uh, bourbon um, uh, a couple years ago. It was it was very uh, telling to me when when people commented it was like, you know, that's not an everyday bourbon. That's a little bit more expensive in my market or that's uh, harder to come by. So I wanted this process to be uh, all inclusive to and also be respectful of what is truly an everyday bourbon. And it seemed to be like 40 bucks was that right price point. And curious to know what your thought is. What's an everyday bourbon for you in terms of price? Uh, and uh, go vote. Put in the comments how you voted. Want to know, want to know, want to know what you think about this moving forward. We will have, uh, I will have some live streams scheduled very soon, but I'm going on vacation right now and I'm, I'm going to, I'm really unplugging. I am not going to do any work. Uh, so you're going to see some videos that drop. They will be scheduled, but you know, for the most part, I am checking out. I am absolutely checking out for the next week and spending time with my family. Uh, but you will, um, you will no doubt still be voting. This voting process uh, will be happening through the end of February. So get those votes in. Let's get as many as we possibly can, and let's find out what is truly the best everyday bourbon at forty dollars. Cheers! Thanks for joining. And if you'd like to become a subscriber, click that subscribe button. And uh, thank you so much. Be safe out there. Oh, Baca sucks.